Hey everybody, on this video we've got a uh, 2003 Honda Odyssey door lock and I have no key for it, I got this from a junkyard and I've got the Han 66 leashy here and we're going to pick the lock, uh, we got to pick it twice to get a read on it and then we're going to uh, go ahead and read it and make a key for it and um, the angle is not going to be the greatest for picking it here but uh, these are spring loaded and it's difficult for me to move the camera around here without dropping Dropping away for sure and having to restart because, like I said, you have to pick it twice. And if um, I let go of the spring tension, it'll pop back and I have to pick it again. So uh, we'll just work with it for from here for uh, the picking portion of it. Okay, and of course we've got uh, two, three, and four are on the A side, and we'll use a fill program to get the one and five on that. And then one through five are on the B side, and they're going to be staggered. Now on this lock here. Okay, so I got B going up, uh, one going up, so that means one, three, and five will be going up on the B side, and then on the A side here. Okay, nothing on two going up. All right, so I'm going to have uh, two and four going down on the A side and three going up. All right, and hopefully, let me zoom out of here. I know this isn't the best view for the picking portion of this, but this video is kind of more about reading it than picking it, so... Okay, so just looking for something to be binding here. Okay, three going up on the B side's binding, so I got a tiny click. Okay, one's binding, got a tiny click again, and got some rotation. So now we head uh, check two and four going down on the B side, and got nothing. So I'm gonna switch to A. Okay, two going down is binding on the A side, so click and some more rotation. And four is binding on the A side going down. Left tension of hair and got a click. And let me check number three on the A side going up. Okay, and it's binding. Left tension a little bit. I got a click, but I did drop something. Uh, hopefully you guys heard of that, something fell. So it's gonna be on the A side more than likely. So I'm gonna go check uh, two and four. Two is binding again, and got some rotation again, and now uh, actually four is binding again as well, so I must have dropped them both. Yeah, no problem, just go go back and pick them again. Okay, got a lot of rotation there, but we're still not picked to the middle position. Okay, go back and check everything on the B side going up. Everything seems all right. Uh, so I need to hit five again. So now we're picked halfway. And we got to pick it one more time here to get a reading on it. So check two and four going down on the B side. One, okay, three got a little click. Five seems all right. Go check two on the A side. It's good. Four seems to be good on the A side as well. So nothing bounced. I'm just go let it come back here. We're still in between the two positions. So just reset it. Okay, go look for something to be binding here. Okay, three on the uh, B side was binding and we got, got it rotated here. And then we got a glare, so let me uh, switch lights here and the camera should adjust. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and read it and then we'll run it through a fill program. So I'm going to actually going to just get the A lifter out of the way and read B first here. Okay, so Okay, so we got so it's springy right there going between two and one. But you can kind of feel it click when it hits two and it's not going all the way to one. So we're going to we're going to uh, go with a two on that. And position number two, nice hard stop on three. And if you're not sure, you, know, you can use the fill program. You can go between two numbers. 
three goes all the way to a one, so that's definitely going to be a one here. I'm just writing them down. And number four looks like it's going to be a three. And then number five is going to be a three as well. Okay, now we'll check out what we got on the A side. Okay, number two is reading a five. Number three is reading a one. And Number four is reading a three. So we get five, one, three. And then let um, me pick it back real quick to our home position. Because after I cut the key, the key won't go in, you know, if it's picked. And picking them back is usually not too bad here. It's just a tiny bit of tension, something binds, you kind of just back off the tension a little bit. And you get a click here, and eventually you'll get it back to home. So now the leash you can come out, and then uh, go ahead and turn screen record on here. And we run this through uh, lock codes here. All right, so we've got Honda, and we're doing four track. And A side, we're going to do question mark, 5, 1, 3, question mark. And then on the B side, 2, 3, 1, 3, 3. And it will make us a chart. And there's our uh, code right there. It only came up with one code. So we're going to go cut a key to this, and we will try it out here. So I'm going to go do that. And we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the uh, key cut. And um, so that's what it looks like. And we'll just try it out here, make sure that it works. All right, and it works perfectly. So that's, uh, you know, using the Honda or Han 66 leashy here to, uh, you know, pick, decode the lock and make a key. And of course, as always, uh, questions or comments, put them in the comments. And um, I don't have anything else for you on this particular lock. So we'll uh, talk to everybody later.